So we're looking at the book, Christ the Life of the Soul by Blessed Columba Marmion. Book one is What God Has Disposed, The Divine Designs. Looking at chapter one, the divine plan of our adoptive predestination in Jesus Christ. The introduction to this chapter is titled, The Importance for the Spiritual Life, Knowledge of the Divine Plan. The first quote that really struck me was, only God, author of our salvation and primary source of our holiness could make known to us what he wants of us in order that we may reach him. God reaches out to us. He doesn't leave us to our own designs, our own devices to find him, which he could have done, but he chose that we actually reach him and he reveals things to us and that's why we rely on revelation. But because he has reached out to us, one of the things that he says is, some have no precise idea of what holiness is. And that's a theme of this introduction, that we are not allowed to just find our own way because God has revealed himself to us. He has revealed to us the way. It's not sufficient to come up with some philosophy on our own. It's not sufficient to even just see one aspect of his divine plan if he's given us the whole picture. So in light of that, he says, it is important to know as perfectly as possible the divine idea of holiness, to scrutinize with the greatest care so that we may adapt ourselves to it. The plan traced by God himself for making us arrive at him. This divine plan has to do with holiness, with sanctity. And he quotes St. Francis de Sales who says, we must not judge things according to our own taste. If we are wholly pursuant to our own will, we shall never be truly so. We have to be holy according to God's will. It is God that made us and so we were made for God. We were made by God for God. When we go along our own designs, our own will, we might leave behind the, the will of the Lord. And if we leave behind the will of the Lord, we'll never be truly happy. We will never reach that end to which God has given us. So it's simple, actually. We just submit our will to that of God once we find it, once we realize it. Here's another couple quotes that I think were very enlightening for me. The plan established by God can never fail to reach its goal because of its intrinsic insufficiency, only through our own fault. God's plan is completely sufficient to find him if it is us completely submitting to the divine will once we find it. God's plan will never fail because of something insufficient in God. If God's plan fails for any one of us, it's because of our own insufficiency. It's because of our own fault, our own failure. He continues, If we let the divine idea have complete power to operate in us, if we adapt ourselves to it with love and fidelity, it becomes extremely fruitful and can bring us to the most sublime holiness. So there's no limit to holiness in, in God's plan. The only limit is what we give ourselves. That's the introduction. It's short, it's sweet, there's not much to it. It's very simple, but it's also a bridge to more. As we continue to read Blessed Columba Marmy, we're going to unfold what holiness is in God. We're going to see what that divine plan means and we start from the general and get specific. So hopefully this has been of some assistance to you. Hopefully it has been at least something good for pious ears. If this has been beneficial, please feel free to like and subscribe. Perhaps it'll be beneficial for others. And just remember, stay hungry.